Well, scientists have accidentally created a mutant enzyme that eats plastic bottles. This sounds fantastic, yeah. doesn't it? Well, the breakthrough offers promise in solving one of the world's biggest pollution problems. Kathy Walsh went to NREL to meet the brains behind the breakthrough right here in Colorado. That's right, and this discovery was made by researchers both in England and at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory in Golden. It may be the recycling solution the world desperately needs. It's a stunning discovery that could drastically reduce plastic pollution. Researchers at the University of Portsmouth in England and across the world at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory in Colorado were examining a natural enzyme found in a Japanese recycling plant that could break down plastic. At NREL, study leader Greg Beckham says scientists genetically modified it. Essentially to break it, to take it backwards in evolutionary time, and we accidentally made it better. A test on smooth pieces of plastic from one of Beckham's soda bottles revealed the scientific surprise. It's pretty cool. Senior scientist Brian Donahoe explained how the enzyme eats away at the strong, man-made plastic. Carving out these pits and cavities down in, into the surface. These images were magnified and sped up to show the enzyme at work. It usually takes decades, if not centuries, for plastic bottles to break down. I think that we're on the order of, of, of months here instead of decades. Does this solve our plastics pollution problem? Absolutely not. But scientists call this a promising step. Will this change the earth? Eventually. I mean, this is a change we have to make, I think, right? Scientists are now working to improve the enzyme to work on a large scale. And there is, of course, urgency in this work. According to NREL, experts estimate that by 2050, there will be as much plastic waste, waste that is, in the ocean by mass as there are fish. You know what I think is so beautiful is that that enzyme was right here all along. Yeah. Just had to find it and cover it. Actually, they had to do a little work, and amazingly, it was accidental work that found it. That's incredible. All right, thanks, Kathy. We remain on weather alert.